Hello YouTube fans. Here's a short video tutorial on a problem that I had with my Nexus 4 from Google smartphone. Uh, I noticed about a month ago when I got my 4.4.2 update I was losing my Bluetooth functions and that's something that uh, I really relied upon especially when driving in the car. Uh, the Bluetooth was actually off. It would not turn on for me. And this was the screen that I saw back about a month ago, which strangely coincided with the 4.4.2 uh, update. And I figured it was something to do with that update. Well, subsequent reading on the internet and then calling over to Google support, I found that that was not necessarily the case. And here's what I did to solve my problem with my Nexus 4. Uh, one of the first things to do is clear the cache on your phone. To clear your cache in your phone, you want to scroll. Let's check the update first. And as you can see there on the screen probably you'll see it's 4.4.2 and that's when the problem started. So here is where I want to clear my cache. I'm in the settings area of my phone and we can go to storage and here is all your total space on your phone and what different uh, apps are using uh, as far as space, pictures, videos, audio, things like that. Your cache is right here and what we want to do is push your finger on the cache data and then you want to say okay this will clear cache data for all apps okay and it takes about 15 seconds or so and my cache data is now 9.63 megabyte it was up around 700 megabyte which is quite a bit and now I'm back to my settings so we've just cleared the cache on this Nexus 4 and now what we want to do is we're going to um, restart the phone in safe mode and to do that we're going to press the on off button like you want to turn the phone off with your right thumb in my case hold the power off button down for about five seconds then you're going to get reboot to safe mode pop up do you want to reboot into safe mode this will disable all third-party applications which you have installed they will be restored when you reboot again so let's select OK the phone will now power off and it will shut down and reboot into safe mode and for the purposes of the video, we'll come back as soon as the uh, screen starts to boot back up. And the Google screen has come back up on the phone after a short, brief reboot. And we're booting this Nexus 4 into safe mode. You can see a different screen. Uh, splash start to take effect here on the Nexus 4 and this will allow the phone to go back to the factory condition uh, none of the apps will be um, your outside apps will be able to be run so here we are we're in safe mode and we want to go to settings and before when I had the problem my Bluetooth was like this I was able to slide the slider over and as you see it turned blue which means it's working it's on and it actually worked it stayed working for me I did delete a couple of apps that I had put onto the phone most recently just for a backup and as you can see safe mode is on the screen here on the lower left and that's about it. That solved my problem for the most part. So what I'm going to do now is turn the phone back off. 
turn the phone right back off here and when it boots back up it'll be in regular mode again and I didn't really have a problem with this phone for a few days and then I noticed the problem came back I repeated the steps I cleared the cache I booted it in the safe mode was able to turn the Bluetooth back on and it stayed on so I want to thank all the uh, tech support at Google for the help that they gave me over the phone and I hope this video helps you with your problem if you have a problem with Bluetooth on your Nexus 4. It's a shame because this is a great phone. Obviously something has interfered with uh, the Bluetooth, especially on my phone here. But it has been working for me, so I'm thankful for that.